Hey, hey, Dr. Juice here. Thanks for joining us on episode one of Juice TV. I'm Dr. Greg Bambanek. I'm a psychiatrist, a physician, and also the creator of Dr. Juice. And on these episodes, we're going to be bringing you some interesting things about the science of fish perception, their olfaction, their sensory system, hearing, vision, but it's going to help you catch more fish. That's the bottom line. And, you know, back 40 years ago when I developed scent, it, it came from my father. He was a commercial fisherman along the Mississippi River, southern Minnesota, flathead catfish, set lines. He was using scent. So when I moved up to the Great Lakes area, fishing for steelhead, I started using scent. But people were coming to me going, well, fish can't smell. Man, they're underwater. Well, I had to explain some of the science to them. And that's what we want to do in this episode, show a little bit of the science of how they have nostrils on each side of their head, right in front of the eyeball, and they're constantly sensing the odors in the water around them and giving them information about food, fear, sex, and even in the lake, they have little cilia. Let me show you where the olfactory organ is. Now here's the nostril, the front nostril. I'll stick this probe into there, in the front nostril, It'll come out the rear nostril, and there you can see uh, how the water is constantly going through. Even at night, in calm water, the little hairs or cilia are beating water past there. They are very good smellers. Everybody knows how well a dog smells. Fish can smell way better than a dog. And so being aware of it is going to help you be a better fisherman. Again, some people say, well, I don't need to fish. I don't fish with scent. Yes, you do. You've got the scent of the metal, of the paint, of your fingerprints, of uh, fly fishermen have the deer hair, the chicken feathers. But let's take a closer look at the olfactory organ. I'll take a scalpel and we can take a look inside to see what's really going on with the fish sensory perception. We'll make some cuts around this olfactory organ. It's right in front of the eye and we'll be able to lift the skin off. And this is a part that's been hidden from most fishermen. Uh, they never get to see this. They're never looking. I mean, you can do this at home on the next fish you catch. Just cut uh, around the olfactory organ and see where the nostrils are. And then you'll be able to take a look under there. And we'll open it up. And voila underneath where the uh, nostrils are, there's the olfactory organ. Now on a fish, they kind of look like a feather. You can see the darkness of it right there. And they have many, many folds. And um, 300 million olfactory receptors on, that, uh, on those folds. We can show you the uh, olfactory organ of a moth. Everybody's seen that. That really looks like a feather. These kind of look like a feather unlike uh, mammals, but uh, that black substance is the olfactory organ, and it's called the, the first cranial nerve in all animals, mammals and fish, and it goes directly into the brain. It doesn't go through any ganglion. It doesn't have any kind of uh, other neural connections. I mean, our eye, we have uh, rods and cones that have all kinds of neural connections before it gets to the occipital part in our visual cortex. Or the first cranial nerve, the olfactory nerve, goes straight into the brain. And so the information is direct. Well, on Juice TV, we've showed you the morphology of the fish's olfactory organ. But does a fisherman give a shit about the morphology? No, he cares about the physiology. He cares about the sensory system. He wants that fish to bite his lure. And some people don't think they're fishing with scent. What you got to do is make sure you're using the right scent. If you got to use a Dr. Juice hand and lure cleaner, get rid of the serine, get rid of all the offensive odors. At least wash your hands with soap that's odorless and then use a good fish scent. You may have your own. Here at Osmic Research, we've developed the Dr. Juice fish scent, which has been responsible for numerous state and world record fish. Those fish have learned to avoid uh, predators like humans. So using the Dr. Juice is going to help you catch more fish.